Hey, Michelle Getzinger here. I just got home uh, a little bit ago from my fox hunt. I wanted to let you know, like, it was absolutely insane. I never in my wildest dreams thought that this is what was gonna happen today. I gotta get my horse, I get there, they let the hounds out. It's absolutely majestic. Just like everything you could think of. And we start galloping down this, you know, um, pathway up this hill. I'm not gonna lie to you, I got a little teary-eyed, okay? We start crest cresting up the top of the hill. There's about 20 riders, there's 40 dogs, everybody's barking. I have no idea what to expect, okay? I'm thinking this is gonna be like a nice little jaunt in the woods. No, let me tell you, it was seriously intense. Galloping up the hill, full speed, and it was dawn and, and the dew was still on, on the hay in the field and it was golden. It was so picturesque and you could see like the evaporation of the dew um, and, and the hounds are just running across. There's a couple deer, you know, going and you're just galloping up and it's tears start welling up in my eyes, you know, there's dirt flying. And I think this is just so beautiful. And then boom, just like that, everybody takes off running down a pathway in the middle of the woods as fast as they can go in in a gallop, and we're jumping over jumps. I have never jumped a jump this big before. I mean, it was absolutely like at least three feet giant logs, and there's three of them in a row. Didn't see it coming, and I'm like midway through 20 horses. So you can't just like, just decide that you're not gonna go over the jumps. Everybody's going as fast as they can, and sure as I'm not gonna be the one that falls off. So I'm holding on for dear life with my mane, and my reins, and those tears are now fear, just just sheer like But I, I made it three and a half hours, three and a half hours of total intense gallop, stop, listen real quiet for the hounds, take off again chasing. We didn't find any foxes today, which is fine by me because we did plenty of other um, exciting running, galloping, jumping. I, I think there's very little walking and very little trotting a lot of holding on and anything that I ever learned in a riding lesson, out the door, okay? Because it was just like, like my girl who brought me along, Marcy said, it's just survival of the fittest. The whole, ge the whole game is just stay on the horse and enjoy yourself. And I tell you what, if you're ever gonna do anything fun like that, I know somebody who you can hook up with, you can rent the horse, you can go fox hunting with a bunch of professionals. Um, you definitely need some advanced riding skills before you do it. Um, I would definitely recommend taking a lesson or two with one of the fox hunt people before you decide to do this. But it has been probably the most adrenaline junky thing I've ever done. And I've done bungee jumping, zip lining, scuba diving. This by far, my heart did not stop beating in my throat for three and a half hours. It was just nonstop excitement, scary, death, stupidity, um, just about everything, you know, that I can think of. It was pretty intense. But yeah, shout out to people up there in Ligonier and um, my first box hunt was amazing and it definitely won't be my last. Hey.